Cardi B and Offset ended their relationship in 2020, according to TMZ at the time. However, they made up before the year ended and welcomed a new kid in the fall of 2021. There have been ups and downs in the couple's frequently turbulent relationship before Cardi filed for divorce in September 2020. 2018 saw them get married in secret before dealing with accusations of infidelity. Cardi revealed they were married and expecting a child in April of that same year. Cardi declared at the end of 2018 that they had lost each other and would be splitting up. However, the 2019 Grammy Awards, including his performance after her victory, made it clear that they will be together for the long run. He accompanied her to Vegas on her birthday after she filed for divorce. After they made up, two months after Cardi filed for divorce, she dismissed the lawsuit. Since then, they have remained together. Let's take a walk down the memory lane of their unusual relationship. Cardi and Offset met at an industry event in 2016. The couple's initial encounter is not well known, although Cardi claims Offset approached her when they initially met at that event. He was very consistent, Cardi said as she talked about the night they met in a live Twitter video. He really wanted to talk to me. They were still supposedly just buddies or collaborators at this stage, and they weren't very well known either. Cardi's first hit song, Bodak Yellow, wouldn't be released for months, so at this point, she was still mostly known as a reality star. Offset's fame was rising. Migos' October 2016 single, Bad and Bougie, was making its way up the charts. The rap stars also attended the 2017 Super Bowl together. Cardi wrote on her Instagram story saying that Offset was my friend. You know what I'm saying? However, as soon as they realized something was wrong, speculation that the two were dating began to circulate. In January 2018, Offset gave Rolling Stone confirmation that this was the couple's first official date. He referred to it as a power move, but we believe the true power move is adding a guy as a friend on Instagram and posting about him the first time he takes you out. They were pictured at the Super Bowl a few weeks prior, but the image has since been removed according to Vibe. According to Bossup, Offset reacted with a boyfriend-girlfriend symbol, indicating that they were definitely dating at this point, even though it would take them a while to come clean. Cardi won the Fader magazine cover shoot, but she remained mum on her connection with Offset. But she did address his work ethic. It's been a blessing, me meeting him and meeting his friends. I see how hard they work, and that motivated me to work even harder, she told Fader. And I see how good things are going for them and how popping it is to be number one. And I'm like, I want that. In an interview with Charlemagne the God, Cardi, who still has not said anything about her relationship with Offset, said, I'm a woman. Every woman, I think, wants to get married and wants to have children. I'm, I'm a woman. Every woman, I think, wants to get yeah. married and want to have children. It's never too early to get married now. You know, if you want to propose to me, you can. It may not be as clandestine, but it certainly worked. Cardi was secretly getting married in Fulton County, Georgia. I didn't know how serious this marriage was. While the rest of the world was obsessed with her new single, Bodak Yellow. The revelation was not made public until June 2018, when TMZ located the couple's marriage license. They hadn't made their marriage public announcement, despite being married for eight months at that point. After posting a selfie with the word single, Cardi reportedly later retracted it and acknowledged that she was being extreme. So listen, babes, I exaggerated a little bit earlier because I was really upset and the Bronx girl and me always have to go to the extreme, she wrote over a photo of Offset. I came to my senses now. I'm sorry, Waffle House on me? Cardi and Offset broke the internet when the latter proposed on October 27, 2017. But the world was unaware that they were married. Cardi would subsequently make reference to the proposal in a wedding declaration. I appreciate and love my husband so much for still wanting me to have that special moment that every girl dreams of. She tweeted the following June. When he got down on his knee and put a ring on my finger and he did that for me. Then came the waves that rocked their love boat. At the start of 2018, there were rumors that Offset was cheating on Cardi. There were wild rumors that he had recorded a sex tape with someone else in addition to cheating on her. These kinds of stories weren't new and Cardi was already tired of hearing people's perspectives on her partner's purported adultery. I'm going to make a decision in my own times with my heart and mind, she wrote on Twitter. 
I don't need to be rushed or be told what to do. It's my life. I belong to me, not the world. On February 3rd, 2018, Cardi posted a video on Instagram and a fan, obviously unaware, commented, is there maybe a Kylie Jenner secret that we need to know about? LOL, just asking. Referring to Kylie, surprise baby heard round the world. Cardi swiftly responded, no b I'm just getting fat. Let me get fat in peace. Cardi B's pregnancy was reportedly revealed by one of her employees during a Super Bowl party, and TMZ obtained the information. Cardi posted an irate picture of Buttercup from the Powerpuff Girls with the comment, getting on my damn nerves this morning, in response to their leaking the story. Cardi talked about all the turmoil encircling the relationship in her Cosmopolitan cover interview. Everybody is coming down my neck like, why are you not leaving him? You have low self-esteem. I don't have low self-esteem, she told Cosmopolitan. I know I look good. I know I'm rich. I know I'm talented. I know I could get any man I want. Any basketball player, football player. I want to work out my sh with my man. And I don't got to explain why, she said. I'm not your property. This is my life. I'm going to take my time and I'm going to decide on my decision. It's not right what he f did, but people don't know what I did because I ain't no angel. Forget about adding weight and peace. Cardi looked radiant when she appeared on Saturday Night Live, flaunting her pregnancy in a form-fitting white dress. Offset thanked supporters on Instagram in a post that was subsequently removed. At this moment, the public continued to assume that the pair was engaged rather than married. Until June 2018, when TMZ eventually located their wedding certificate, the couple was able to maintain the secrecy surrounding their marriage. However, Cardi confirmed the news with a tweeted notes app statement. There are so many moments that I can share with the world and there are moments that I want to keep for myself. Getting married was one of those moments. Our relationship was so new, breaking up and making up and we had a lot of growing to do, but we was so in love, we didn't want to lose each other. It appears the couple woke up one morning and decided to get married. According to Cardi, we found someone to marry us and she did. Just the two of us and my cousin. I said, I do, with no dress, no makeup, and no ring. Soon after culture was born, cracks started to show in Cardi and Offset's marriage. TMZ reported that Cardi was accused of directing her entourage to attack two ladies in a strip club and hurling a bottle at them. On August 15, one of the women apparently suffered an attack. Both say that on August 29, while Migos were performing at the strip club where they were bartenders, they were attacked by Cardi's group. Cardi was not physically present during the altercations, according to the ladies and those close to her. According to the women and TMZ, Cardi believed Offset had cheated on her with one of the women, which is why she ordered the attacks. Cardi candidly discussed her feelings on the persistent adultery claims in an interview with W Magazine. Every single day there's rumors about me and my dude, she said, and it almost drives me crazy because I can start to believe them. I don't have no proof. I don't have receipts, but I just got to know my man. We practically on the phone 24 hours a day. If I can't find him, I'm going to find his friend. Somebody going to answer the phone, but I cannot be feeling insecure to a point that I would drive my dude away because these people want that to happen. Cardi was enticed by Offset with the promise of a dinner date, but she was shocked with an extravagant surprise party, a bouquet of six dozen roses, a bracelet engraved with their daughter's name in diamonds and other gifts. Cardi abruptly declared at the beginning of December that she and Offset were splitting up. So everybody been bugging me and everything and you know, I've been trying to work things out with my baby father for a hot minute now, she said in an Instagram live. And we're really good friends and you know, we're really good business partners. You know, he's always somebody that I went to talk to and we got a lot of love for each other, but things just haven't been working out between us for a long time. And it's nobody's fault, she added. It's just like, I guess we just grew out of love, but we're not together anymore. I don't know, it might take time to get a divorce and I'm going to always have a lot of love for him because he is my daughter's father. And yeah, announcements like this are destined to activate the rumor mill and several rumors began to fly around. One of which was that Offset and Cardi's relationship was fake from the start. As expected, Cardi cleared things up in an Instagram Live and reiterated that her relationship was never fake. Ain't no type of publicity that I would ever want that would have my daughter looking at me crazy when she gets older. She said, my relationship was never fake. I met this 
He was on my ass. I gave him a chance and we fell in love with each other. Things were not always gravy because at the end of the day, we are two different people. But we never did anything for publicity, bitch. You think I got pregnant? Could have ruined my career for publicity? In the meantime, Offset was feeling remorseful and expressed his wish to reignite his fraught relationship. I want to apologize to you, Cardi, he said in an Instagram live feed ahead of his birthday. I know I embarrassed you. I was partaking in an activity I shouldn't have been taking in. He apologized profusely and referred to himself as a selfish, messed up husband. Cardi didn't reply, but even before he uploaded the video, it was obvious that his supporters had had enough of his excuses. Are y'all going through a lot? One Instagram commenter asked, or are you putting her through a lot? Dude, you will not stop cheating, another said. You will only get better at hiding it. It cannot be helped. You will do it again and disrespect her. Your apologies are hollow to her. On December 16, Cardi performed the headlining act at the Rolling Loud Music Festival. During her performance, Offset entered the stage while his helpers held up placards that said, Take Me Back Cardi. The videos of the encounter showed Cardi looking irritated. She completed her set when Offset exited the stage. After the performance, she used Instagram Live to share her feelings with the audience. I get that he's trying, she said. It's hard. It's gonna take a long time to... I don't know what's going to happen next. I just feel bad. This is why I don't like surprises. Sadly, things only got worse from there. Rolling Loud event organizers said that Cardi or at least her people knew all along that Offset would be joining her on stage. Furthermore, given their previous cunning onstage faux proposal, viewers could not rule out the possibility of them staging another dramatic onstage moment. Offset's theatrics from the beseeching Instagram video to the gesture on stage are widely acknowledged by critics and fans to be on the verge of harassment, if not emotional assault. However, Cardi has defended her ex and asked fans not to bash him. I know I see a lot of people bashing me because I'm defending my baby's father. They think I'm going to get back together with him, she said on Instagram. I'm not saying that I'm going to get back together with him. I just don't like that bashing online thing. As soon as TMZ obtained pictures of the couple enjoying a romantic jet ski ride in Puerto Rico, rumors started to circulate that the couple was officially headed back toward reconciliation. However, Cardi B shut down those hopes immediately in an Instagram Live video during the vacation. Once more, TMZ revealed that Cardi and Offset had formally called off their divorce and reconciled. Cardi had gone back to the Atlanta house that she and her husband had previously shared. Multiple people close to the couple informed the site. This is the first time she's been back to stay here with Offset and Culture since December, the outlet noted. But sources made it clear that Offset had to change his phone number to show that he's serious about being honest and faithful, as TMZ reported. Our sources say the new digits are strictly for Cardi and business calls. Cardi B spoke to People Magazine about the present state of affairs between them, saying, I hang out with him, I talk to him every day, and we do our thing. It's just like to make things perfect. It takes time, she admitted. You know, f***ing and hanging out doesn't mean that you guys are on like a perfect note. It takes time. And it's a marriage and there's a child involved and family involved. It seems Cardi and Offset have settled on being friends and co-parents for now. Do you think there's a reconciliation in the works? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more of your favorite celebrity news. See you next time.